I'm out here in the field today and I'm here to teach you how to achieve Hollywood style running scenes with just one camera and a gimbal. Sit back, relax, let's figure this out. The key to making this technique work is just by having a gimbal and having a camera and again also having a zoom lens. These are the major ingredients to make sure that your running scene is actually going to work. Now, I know this might seem daunting to some of you who don't have gimbals. However, if you want me to make another separate video because there is another technique, there is another way you can achieve really high quality running shots without necessarily using a gimbal. And if you want me to do that, do let me know in the comment section below and I'll make another separate video addressing running scenes using just a tripod. But today's video, let's focus on using a gimbal to achieve such kind of cinematic running shots. So to begin with, in using gimbal for any other job in this world, you first of all need to make sure that your gimbal is well balanced. And if you want to know how to balance a gimbal, I have another video on this channel. You can click up here to watch that particular video to know how to balance a gimbal. Make sure that before balancing, you've already attached your zoom lens to it because like I said, the zoom lens is really going to be very important. Now that you have this done, make sure that if there are two characters who are chasing each other in this particular scenario, we are going to focus on character A, we are going to run and follow character A throughout the scene and then when we are done we are going to repeat the same action for character B. Now in situations where we want to have two of them at the same time in one shot then we can pull back have a wide shot at the same time running and following the action. The other thing I would also add is that location is very very important. As you can see where we are shooting right now I intentionally chose this location because of the trees and the way they are particularly spaced out. That way we can run in between them and there's constantly trees passing in front of the camera thereby creating the illusion of the camera speeding or on top speed. Just having trees or just having a lot of foreground elements running past or wishing past in front of the camera would actually give your audience that feeling or create that kind of illusion that you are actually running at top speed and your, all your characters are actually running on top speed. Then the other magic of this happens in editing where you blend the solo shots as you can see, we see this person running, we cut to this person following and the screen direction as well guys, take note, the screen direction in this case is so so important. If character A is running from left to right, make sure that character B is also chasing from left to right or else if the other one is going to the opposite direction, the screen direction will just throw the whole thing off and your audience, I mean we just know that you are deceiving them, it's just going to disorient your audience completely. So make sure to keep screen direction in mind if you want to shoot a running scene using just one camera. Just make sure that at the end of the day, you are kind of maximizing or making full use of the equipment that you have. The importance of a zoom lens in this particular scenario or to get in this work cannot really be overemphasized, guys. Let me show you. This is a shot A of not zooming in at all. And this is shot B of the action being zoomed in. Just look at the difference on screen. If you look at it very well, now this is just pure science or let me say this is just pure optics. When you zoom into objects or when you zoom in using the zoom lens, objects that are closer to you will tend to move very fast and objects that are far away would move very slow. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are just discovering this channel, welcome. This is the Africa Amaze channel where we talk about cinematography, photography, editing and all its related branches. And if you do have any further questions, please kindly link me up on Instagram at ubl underscore junior. DM me your questions and I will gladly respond. 
respond to every single one of your messages and like always like we do it on the africa miss channel and before you go I have a whole plethora of playlists for you if you're a beginner filmmaker and you want to learn how to shoot a video using just one camera click here to watch that video and i will catch you in the next one until next time as always guys keep practicing filmmaking and make sure to subscribe to the africa Miss channel peace out